Wow, go on my viewers and subscribers. Zen coming at you again with another tutorial. This one is Guiltiness by Batman. Now, this guitar is from Pattern, a reggae scar, the one strap, or the one skank. If you've been following my channel by now, you should know to play it, right? Yeah, man. Now, this song has more than one guitar strum pattern. The next one is more of a legato feel, or the swing with the phaser on. Here we go. Now, normally the stock line would accompany the bass, but in this case, it's a more independent one. Here we go. Let me show you to play this one. Alright, so now that we are zoomed in, first and foremost, I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers for all the support that I've been receiving from the jump of this channel up until now. I promise, I promise to keep up the good work, alright? Now, if you're just tuning into this channel, you want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You know, you're going to like it. Hit the red button down here, hit the notification bell and hit all so whenever I post a new video or whatever I post, you will be the first to know, you know, stay alerted. Now, this song... Um, Guiltiness, so, you know, let's get to work. This song has one, two, three, four, five cards, all right? But you are mostly gonna be playing on that E flat minor to a B flat minor, all right? So when the, st the song starts, it starts on that the E flat minor. You wanna stay there until you go, Guiltiness, you wanna Guiltiness. Rest on them conscience, oh yeah. That's when you get to that B flat minor. Okay? So let's get to farming these cards for all those who do not know how to farm the cards. You want to bar the whole sixth fret with the pointer finger. Place the middle finger on the second string of the seventh fret. Place the pinky finger on the third string of the eighth fret. Place the ring finger on the fourth string, eighth fret. So it should sound like this. Now remember you're barring this sixth string up here just for stability, but you want to strum from the fifth string. And the last string is optional. Also, all right, so you want to play in the middle. Okay, hope I'm not confusing you guys. Now for your second card, which is a six, you want to go all the way up here, place that arm. Um, so you're still barring that sixth fret. You want to place the ring finger on the fifth string, eighth fret. And place the, fin the, um, the pinky finger on the fourth string, eighth fret, right there. Should sound like that. Now, if you want to play that B flat minor seven, yeah, this is a B flat minor. Lift the pinky finger. I think it makes him feel more comfortable to use this finger. All right? We just want to make sure that we're playing the right cards. So we got so far. Guiltiness. Sorry for my bad singing. Rest on them conscience. 
You know, I do not know the words, but that's basically what you play for the verse. All right. Now it gets to the um, the bridge. Right. The bridge picks up on the one which is the C sharp major. To get the C sharp major, you want to you want to place that pointer finger on at the fourth fret. You want to buy the whole fourth fret. And you want to place that ring finger on the second, third, and fourth string of the 6th fret right there. It's like playing your first A. We just want to slide all the way up here. My bad. So... What the damn presser back to the B flat minor. Then you get to the 4. And in the key of C sharp major, the four is going to be the F sharp major. All right. So by the way, second fret, place that middle finger on third string, third fret, pinky finger on the fourth string, fourth fret, ring finger on the fifth string, fourth fret. You're gonna get to a five. After so this is what we got so far. Four. We're gonna go to the five. To get the five, you just wanna push this position all the way up here. So it's wanna start with the fourth fret. So it's a one to the six to the four to the five. And this five is that A flat major. So that's basically what you play. All right, I hope you guys were following. All right, I'm trying to not make this tutorial too long. All right, so again, the bridge. But the girl is home. They eat their presents tomorrow. One, six, four, five, and one to the six. To the five, then you stay to the six. Then, guiltiness, rest on them conscience. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And that's basically it for the cards. All right, as I like I said before, I hope you guys are following. Remember, it's a video, slow it down, pause it, and you'll get it. All right. Don't the slower you go, the more effective. All right, just remember that. So let's get to that. Um, let's get to that stock line. All right. So like I said at the jump of this tutorial, the stock line, you know, normally it, it, it would accompany the bass, but in this song, it's more independent. For all those don't. Alright, so like I said at the very beginning of this tutorial, um, a stock line normally accompanies the bass in reggae, alright? But in this song, it's more independent, alright? A stock line is a guitar line that most of the time plays the same thing as the bass, you know, but in a higher register. For the, the stock line for this song, when you're on that E flat minor, this is a suck line. Alright? When you get to that B flat minor, it goes. Alright, 
So I'm going to play the stock lines. I'm going to play it slow so you guys can hear and follow. All right, I'm going to allow it to ring out so you guys can hear the notes. All right, so here we go. It goes. And if you want it to mute, you want to. What I'm doing there, I'm resting my palm on this at the bridge. All right, so it's a, but not too much. I'm not pressing. It. So you're gonna hear that. So you wanna just gently. You're muting. That's basically it for the stock line. Now, like I said at the jump, um, this song has two different strum. I mean, it could be three. All right, and that's the one strike, the double skank, and also that swing. All right, to get that one strike, you know, it's pretty simple. Now, the secret to this is to make sure that you're, you squeeze and release. You know what I mean? So it's going to be... So when, once you apply the pressure and you release it, you want to keep the fingers there still just to mute it. So it doesn't ring. You know, you want to get that. So you want to be... Um, sorry. And of course, it's a bit slower than that. You know, I'm, th this is just a demonstration of how it's being done. All right. Now, if you want to get a double skank in it, like let's say you want to have some fun with it and you want to add some, you know, a little bit of something in it. You want to double skank. Now, the same rule applies, except, not except, but you just want to add a little bit more of a palm muting. When you go down, you stay there. You stay there, you mute it, then you pick up and you squeeze and release with this and you apply the pressure real fast and release it again. So that's basically how you strum reggae, double scan. See, notice my hand. You can add a little bit of slide. And that's basically the double skank. Now, for that one, for that arm um, swing with the phaser. Now remember, my guitar does, I do not play much with, you know, effects. But for this song, it's uh, you're gonna use a phaser for this one. Yeah, yeah. You wanna so instead of a more of a, you wanna get a. Yeah, yeah. So it's more yeah, legato. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. So instead of being with this, you wanna. That's what you're doing, and the same thing with this hand. That's basically it. This part is very simple. All right, so that's it for those. All right, my viewers and subscribers, that is how you play Guiltiness by Robert Nesta Marley, popular known as Bob Marley. Now, 
if there's anything that I could have done to make it more, you know, easier and more clear, you know, put it down there in the comment section. I implore you, though, to listen to the original songs, you know, before actually getting into the tutorials, you know, so you can have a, a much better understanding of what's being played. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Join the reggae family, man. Well, actually, join the island music family. If you like island music, I mean, drop your request down there. Challenge me a little. Talk to me a little. Remember to check the cards. And before you go, check one of these tutorials right here. There's a lot more for your people to learn on this channel. Remember my name, Zion from Zion Guitar. Blessed love. Peace out. See you next time.